Hi, my name's Dr Ursula and I'm the Director of Special Eyes Vision Services, an optometry service designed to cater for the needs of children and adults with complex disability and additional needs. Today I'm going to tell you about one of my favourite vision assessments, the Cardiff Cards Test. So here it is, I have a red box. And when I open it, it's made up of a series of grey cards with different pictures or optotypes on each. Here's a few examples of the pictures. So the chart I'm holding up is a grey rectangle of card with a picture of an apple. If we look carefully at that design, you can see that the outline of the apple consists of a thick white line surrounded on both sides by a thinner dark grey line. I'm holding up a second card now and this one has a picture of a boat. Compared to the apple, all three lines, the one white and the two grey, are a little thinner. And now I'm holding up a card with a picture of a train on it. Again, the three lines are thinner still and it's trickier to make out that shape. Now, the apple is the most visible symbol of the three that I've shown you. It's like the biggest letter on the letter chart. Whereas the train is the least visible, which is a bit like the smallest line on the letter chart. However, this assessment uses what we call vanishing optotypes. If your vision isn't good enough to resolve, that is to distinguish these lines from each other, then their combined luminance is the same as the grey background, and they seem to just disappear. I can demonstrate this by moving back with this card, and you can see how it just disappears. For each symbol, there are three cards. Each card has the same picture, but the picture can be located either at the top of the card or at the bottom. In the apple set, two cards have apples at the top and one card has an apple at the bottom. Why is that? Well, this test is a preferential looking test. Preferential looking tests are based on the theory that as humans we will look towards something detailed in preference to something plain. If you sit someone in front of a muted TV mounted on a plain wall, they will usually look towards the TV rather than staring at the plain wall it's mounted on, provided they can see the TV. And this is the key to this vision test. If the child or adult whose vision you are assessing can see the picture, then they will usually look towards it. For this test, I don't need the person I'm testing to tell me where the shape is located, though we can use it that way sometimes. But what makes it such a great test is that we can use the person's eye gaze to judge whether or not they're looking towards the image. When I use this assessment, I shuffle the cards facing down and then present one without looking at it first. So I don't know where the image is located when I first show it. I have to use the person's eye gaze to gauge where they were looking and then I look at the card to see if it's correct. This helps to make it more accurate because I'm not expecting to see a certain thing happen. This assessment is great for children aged around one to three years of age, but can be used on older children or adults who are non-speaking or minimally verbal or have intellectual disability. Thanks for watching my video and please take a look at my website to learn more about my services. See you again soon.